They smell straw. I was doing my walk and then I got on the hammock. Now it's starting to rain, so I mean, it's time to go home. But anyway, all I got up here to talk about is, you know, I heard Tiffany Montgomery say this recently. Before she worry, she gonna worship. Before you worry, worship. In the in the um words of Tiffany Montgomery. Now I tried that today. Let me tell you something. The type of news I got today, I could be so a crying. You hear me? I I don't even know how I'm, I don't even know how I'm holding myself together right now. I have no idea how I'm holding myself together, and it's 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 nothing but the grace of God. But you know what? After I got that information today, you know what I did? I immediately turned on worship music. And you know what God told me to do? He said, "You better watch your mouth. You better watch what you're about to say, because we don't realize." the power of what's coming out of our mouth and I say you know what I'm about to worship before I worry about the situation I am so I immediately turned on worship music and I got into prayer I immediately I got into prayer and I put on worship music and I had to just drown myself out in worship music and just praying and worshiping I don't know how God is about to work this out, but let me tell you something now. I'm just here to let you know now. On July 1st, we're going to be rejoicing. That the situation going to be done turned around. I'm making this as a I'm making this as a video today. Then you know what? This is this is this is going to be a testimony on July 1st. I don't know how this is about to work out. I have no idea, but the Lord is going to work it out. He's going to work it out. I have I have confidence in him, and so I tried it today, um, just worshiping before I worry. And you know, you can't you can't give the enemy you can't give the enemy any kind of like power. You know what I'm saying? So turn that worship music. And you know, I've heard people say that before, and some people say it's easier said than done. But also, in the words of Tony Gaston, sometimes some things have to be said in order to be done. And I tried it today, and it's probably what's holding me together right now. That is probably what's holding me together right now. I have this peace right now. I, I have this peace. And I just know God is going to work it out. I just, he got to. He got to come through for you, girl. Like, I know he's going to work it out. And if I were to tell y'all every detail... It would seem crazy, but I don't have to tell you every detail. I just, I'm just here because I believe God. And I know that whatever I ask for in prayer, that if I believe it, that it shall be done. And it's going to be done. It's going to be done. I don't know how, but it's going to be done. It is going to be done. I trust God. I trust him. And you know, in this life, we're going to have trials and tribulations and stuff like that. But you know, this is this is God's time to shine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what the day is gonna bring. We don't we don't know what the day is gonna bring. We don't know what's gonna happen on a day-to-day basis. But see, we can't get so focused on our plans and how we want our life to the to, to be. Like we gotta make room for God. And so I'm making room for him. Like I make room for him every day. But also, do you make room for him even when things don't go as you plan? When things don't, even though you plan and you try to, you know, figure stuff out, do you still make room for him? Or are you are you upset and frustrated? I could be upset and frustrated right now because things are not going my way, but I choose not to even focus on that. And so God told me when I got there off the phone, just get into worship, just get into my presence. So that's exactly what I had to do. I had to put on worship music. I had to get up and pray. Then I got up, I got up, I cooked some dinner, and then I came out here to the park. This is my second walk for today. But I need to go on the second walk for the day for my mental health right about now. I needed to because I would not be able to sleep. But I'm just telling you right now, I decree and declare that I'm gonna be able to sleep in peace tonight. Because even though I don't know what tomorrow holds, even though I don't know what's gonna happen, I know who holds tomorrow. God holds tomorrow. And see, God is in control. He is in control. And so I want to say, you know, even as I'm going through what I'm going through, this hair in my face is getting on my nerves. I done got hot. 
even though I'm going through what I'm going through and I don't know how everything is going to play out, but you know, watch your mouth. And that's what God wanted me to know. Like, instead of you getting ready to complain and instead of you getting ready to break down and cry and have a whole nervous breakdown, I want you to get in words. I want, I want you to watch your mouth. And the reason why I'm saying I want you to watch your mouth is because life and death is in the power of our tongue. So a lot of times, now how a whole net getting here? So a lot of times we'll go through situations and, oh, y'all, it's a net and I'm trying to drive. <laughs> it's a net and I'm trying to drive. Okay. Um, but a lot of times, like, we will start to speak out loud that bad news we got. We got. And so when we speak out loud about the bad news we got, we giving it life. We giving it life. We, we, we manifesting that more. So as soon as I got on the phone, I said, oh, no, that's not going to happen. I immediately said that. I said, oh, no, that's not going to happen. And I put on that worship music. I said, you know what, God, you're a good. I, you know what, God, thank you for this bad news. Thank you for this trial and tribulation. And it, it's hard to thank them because you know what? Things like this has to happen. So God can move or so God can show us things that some, something needs to change. Like something needs to change. Something needs to change eat within me. But also this is an opportunity for God to move. This is an opportunity for God to move. So watch what come out your mouth. And even it's okay to call a friend if you got a vent or call a family member. But remember, even if you have to call your friend or call that family member, watch what comes out your mouth. And so I'm being very cautious. So I got off the email. Uh, I got off the email. I got off the phone. I had to send a couple of emails. And even when I was typing the email, I was very cautious even how I typed the email. Because I wasn't about to get a situation life. I wasn't about to. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not about to give the situation life and speak out loud. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I sent the email. And, um... I just said, Lord, you know, you're going to work it out. You are going to work it out. I, I believe, I know he's going to work it out. And so that's my encouragement. Like, you know, before you start worrying, worship, worship. And anytime, like, you know, you'll be fine. You, you know, if you start worrying again, go back into worship. Go back into prayer. You got to drown that thing out. You got to submerge yourself in worship. You got to submerge yourself in prayer. You got to submerge yourself with the scriptures. And see, this is why getting in the word and reading the scriptures is like your weapon right now. That word is your weapon because God is a God that he shall not lie. So even though I'm going through this right now, God started reminding me of scriptures that I've read in the Bible. I'm like, well, God, your word say this. So the situation got to be worked out. Like, it has to work or it has to work. There's no other options. There's no, oh, the other side of the situation. No, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. And I believe God is going to work out. So remember that when you go into your situation and you getting bad news or you coming up with disappointments and stuff that's happening in your life, watch your mouth. Watch what comes out your mouth. Do not give the situation light. Don't give it light. Don't, don't speak anxiety of your life. Don't speak depression. I rebuke the spirit of depression right now. I rebuke the spirit of sadness. I rebuke the spirit of anxiety. I rebuke the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. And see, that's the stuff we have to say because God has not given me the spirit of fear. And see, the devil wanted me to get into fear and panic mode. He said, uh-uh. God said, uh-uh. Get into worship. Watch what you about. Watch what's about to come out your mouth. Speak life into your situation. Whatever your situation is, speak the opposite. You just got bad news and they saying this, speak the opposite. Say, oh no, that's not going to happen. Actually, this is what's going to happen. And speak the word of God. That's so key. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to myself right now. I'm, I'm honestly preaching to myself right now. I'm saying out loud, if, if I called a friend and told this situation to, I'm just speaking out loud to myself right now that everything is going to work out and everything's going to be okay. God is going to work it out. He is. And I don't know how. And I don't need to know all the details right now. And I'm going to wait on the Lord because he's going to work it out. And see, that's the thing. We're going to wait. I'm going to pray and I'm going to wait. I'm going to pray and I'm going to wait. 
because God is going to work it out. It's in his hands. And you know what? It's, it, first of all, it's no need for me to sit here and worry about it and for me to try to figure everything out tonight. It, it, it's no need. Like, I only can control what I control. What can Lisa control? I can get on my hands and knees and pray. What can Lisa control? I can get in worship and not worry. What can Lisa control? Get in that word and fill my mind with those things. Because guess what? When you in God's presence, you're in peace. God is giving me a peace right now that surpasses all understanding. He is truly and honestly, and I could cry. And I want to cry. And it's okay if I do cry. But also, there is a peace that is surpassing all understanding right now. I was going to go live tonight. And I was just like, no. I need to I need to just have on worship music for the rest of the night. I really do. So, that's what I'm going to do. God will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. You know what that means? Even though like people might see you going through your situation and stuff like that. Um, they're like, man, how is she able to still be at peace? Because, see, a lot of people ain't going to understand why you got peace. But, see, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. He will come and comfort you during those times. And I know God hears my prayer. And I know he cares. If he know how many hairs I have on my head, oh, he care. And he know. He already, he already knew what I was about to pray for. First of all, God already knew I was about to get this news today. He already knew. He already knew. And you know what? Let me tell you something. When you, I am starting to see, when you are starting to get closer and closer to Christ, the devil will throw all kind of blows. You hear me? I'm telling you, you win that word. When you in that word and you living for Christ. Oh, he going to try to throw something at you because like if I just heard somebody say, uh, I think it was Kevin, Pastor Kevin. He said, he made this good analogy. Nobody's going to chase after a caged bird. Meaning, if a bird is in a cage and it's already in, it's already in prison. Meaning, like, if you're already in the cage of the devils, in the atmosphere of the devil or the adversary, and you caged in and you boxed in and you just, you know, the devil got you, he ain't got to really chase after you right now because he already got you. You know what I'm saying? You're already caged. But it's the birds that get free. Come on, somebody. It's the And, and because I just decide to, to break from that lifestyle and I decide to live from Christ and I don't went on to be with the Lord... And I'm living for him. Oh, he's chasing. But guess what? I'm not going to be defeated because God is on my side. And if God is for me, who can be against My God, minister to yourself. Minister to yourself. If God is for you, who can be against you? Lisa, see, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? You got to have that word opinion. You got to have something to fight back. So anytime the devil come with a little a little side uh, a little comment he want to throw a little shade in my mind be like oh but what about it oh no oh no god said fear not I, I am with you always and god will never leave or forsake me he, he's not going to leave me he is right here with me and he is right there with y'all i'm just talking this out loud this is for me this uh, honestly this is for me this is for me tonight i'm being selfish this is for me i'm just speaking out loud what i'm going through You know what I'm saying? And hopefully y'all can be encouraged by this message too because, yeah, I I just don't know what's about to happen, but I just know God is going to work it out. I just know God is going to work it out because God is for me and he's not going to leave me. So when, when when you hear this news and you're going through situations, just get into worship and watch what comes out your mouth. And also watch too when you if you are to talk to somebody else, watch even how the other person speaking. Don't don't let them speak that negativity o- over your life. You you can reject that. Like no, I reject that. I know that they reject that. And see, a lot of times what happens, even if the situation don't change tonight, God is changing me. He, you see what I'm saying? Because my t- situation has not changed. It has not changed. But you know what God is doing in me right now? He's changing my mindset. He He is He is telling me, get in that worship. Get in that word. Because, see, 
you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on now. Do not conform to this world. We got to be transformed through the mind. And see, that's what happens. A lot of stuff happens in the mind. And we need to be renewed by our mind. And how do we be renewed by our mind? Remember what God said. Remember what the what God said about me. Not what man said or not what this person said. Not what that. Remember what God said about me. Remember the promises that God told me about my life. Yeah. Now why now why is it when black people back up? I'm backing up, y'all. Why is it when black people back up they gotta get quiet? And y'all know when black people back up they gotta turn down their music, but I ain't got no music on, so ain't no music to turn down. But um I just got back home. Um but uh oh Lord. Um, what was I about to say? Um pretty much done what I had to say. But yeah, just just watch what comes out your mouth. Watch how you talk about your situation. Don't give your situation if it's something negative, don't give it life. Don't 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 feed into that. Don't feed into that. Because trust me, when you stay in prayer, I just talked about this last week. God can give you the strategy. He is. And you know what? You know what I started thinking about too, y'all? I said, look, Lisa, if he did it before, he can do it again. The God we serve, the God we we serve is not no one hit or quitter. Okay? The God that we serve is not no one hit or quitter. And what I mean by that is some people think, oh, here he go, nosy. Some people think because, you know what, let me put my trash can over here. Some people think, um, oh, well, God brought me through. Sorry, y'all. Some people think, well, God brought me through that situation one time before, and that's it. Like, this is a one-time blessing. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm here to tell y'all that if God worked it out before, if God worked it out before, guess what? He can work it out again. And then, and then God reminded me, I know y'all just walked in the house. Then God reminded me, he said, Lisa, he said, Lisa, you remember this when this happened? And you remember how you thought you were not going to be able to get over this person? Or you remember how you had this going on? Look how I brought you out. This is minor to God. I, it is big in my mind, but it's minor to God. So even... If you know you're going through things and you don't got that that bad news or whatever, I want you to put in your mind that God, you have brought me out before, and your words say you will never leave or forsake me. So this is not a time. This is not. And you know, sometimes we think, well, maybe this is the one time God didn't answer my prayers. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He gonna still come through for the come through. You hear me? He's still going to come through. You hear me? So when you get those thoughts, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It's going to work out. If God is for me, who can be against me? And God, if you did it before, you can do it again. If you did it before, you can do it again. Just think about everything. And then you know what? You got to have an attitude of gratitude. You got to have an attitude of gratitude. And you want to got to have an attitude of gratitude because you got to say, you know what, God, I'm grateful for this because this trial, because Lord, if this trial wouldn't have came, I would have never known that you're a way maker and that you're a healer, that you're going to heal my body and that you're going to do this and that you're going to do that. I never would have known. And even it was just another situation that I was just going through a couple weeks ago and God came through and he showed up above and beyond. And God reminded me that on my walk, like Lisa, you can trust God. One thing about you, Lisa, you're going to trust God. You're going to trust him. And he's going to make everything all right. And so I'm trusting him to make everything all right. I already know that my prayer is already answered. I already know that it's already done. You know, I got that mustard seed side of faith. And be careful who you ask to pray for for you too. When you're going through your situation, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful who you go vent to and who you go talk to and who you ask. Hey, can you pray for me about the situation? Because... Some people can be praying for your failure. You hear me? So be careful with that. 
So the, the best person you can tell is you can take it to God. You can have confidence in God. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I will see y'all another one. Bye.